This is Spencer. Spencer's nine. He's a lab. And he does have some tight shoulders, so we're going to... And we're going to talk today about how to stretch out your dog's shoulders and hips. Sometimes our dog's muscles get short and tight due to changes in activity or their health injury, sometimes as they age. These shortened muscles then lead to a decline in overall activity. Stretching lengthens out the muscles and other connective tissue in the body. It helps to restore flexibility and promote range of motion within the joints. In addition to improvements in movement, it helps to decrease the risk of further injury, help manage pain, promote circulation, health, overall well-being, and connect you and your pup. We're gonna look at some very gentle shoulder stretches. So if your dog likes to reach their arms out in the morning and they stretch their front legs out and their bums up in the air, kind of like a downward dog, they're getting a nice shoulder stretch. The body needs to be warmed up. So stretching is good to do. You wanna have a nice comfortable environment where you're not distracted, there's not things going on. And I'm actually sitting up on a little cushion and he's on a comfy bed. And we just start with touch. So just coming in, stroking. You would want to be talking in more of a soothing voice to allow the dog to begin to relax. Yeah. So for this stretch, we're going to come in behind the elbow and your other hand's going to be just in front of the shoulder blade and very gently cupping. I always say, think of holding a baby bird. Something very gentle. Yes, Spencer likes to cheese birds. <laughs> it's gonna come in, and I always start with a little bit of rocking back and forth, just to begin to ease the body into it. And notice that I'm holding the leg a little bit off the dog bed, so it's not up and away but it's more in line with the body than just hanging downwards. Go into a nice gentle stretch where his leg comes forward. Remember I said his shoulders are a little tight and we're just gonna hold there. So this top hand is more of a, um, it provides a little bit of support, a little bit of an anchor. It's right on what's called the acromion there. There's a little bony prominence in the front of the shoulder. My bottom hand is gently guiding the shoulder. Stretches, we hold stretches ideally for about 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds. If your dog wants to come out of the stretch, you let him come out. If you come into it too quickly, you're gonna hit resistance. So you wanna come into it nice and slow. You want the leg to be in line with the body. So if the leg is in line with their body, one hand comes underneath the knee or the stifle, the other one underneath the hock. And I'm gently, and then I'm using my leg. You can also just hold the knee, if you, especially if you have a little dog, and your other hand's going on top behind the pelvis. So the pelvis, you can kind of feel a bony prominence on the side, and you come up to the top, and you feel their hips and their pelvis there. It's more or less where you want your hand to rest or your leg. Explore a gentle rock and we hold here. Sometimes it's helpful if you take a deep breath and sigh, which also will help your dog relax. Stretching should always make your dog feel good. Involve large muscle groups on both the right and left sides of your dog. Hold the stretches for about 30 seconds and try to do this most days of the week. Thank you.